In this tutorial, we'll show you a technique that we call moving or sliding blocks. Let's see the effect. So here, we see the video clip in four pieces sliding in to join up. The video clip plays for a few seconds and then splits up again and moves apart. So let's see how this is done. You'll need four overlay tracks for this project. So from the Overlay Track Manager, let's enable Overlay Tracks 1, 2, 3 and 4. Click OK. Now drag the skydiving clip onto the four overlay tracks. Now from the Video Filter menu, drag the Cropping Filter onto the video clip on Overlay Track 1. Click Customize. The Cropping Filter trims off all the video except for the area within the rectangular marquee. We want the first piece to be the top left corner, so move the marquee to the top left corner. Now copy the first keyframe to the last keyframe. Click OK. Now we've gone ahead and applied the cropping filter on overlay tracks 2, 3 and 4. In track 2, we position the marquee at the bottom left as you can see here. In track 3, we position the marquee at the top right. And in track 4, we position the marquee at the bottom right. In all the tracks, we copied the first keyframe to the last keyframe. So this takes care of splitting the video into four pieces. Now let's make the blocks slide. Select the first clip on overlay track 1. Make the direction enter from left and make it exit to right. This slider here called the pause duration controls how long the video remains on the screen before splitting up again. So if you want the video to remain on the screen for a longer period of time, just increase the pause duration. Once again, we've gone ahead and changed the entry and exit directions on overlay tracks 2, 3 and 4. We've made them enter and exit in different directions just for variety. So that's it. That's our effect. Let's preview it. So that's how you do moving blocks. Hope you're enjoying using Video Studio and best of luck.